What's up guys, welcome to Tech Breakdown, the series where all the leaks and the rumors of tech industries just got baked into the single video. And this video is about the interchangeable parts of the iPhone SE and iPhone 8. Also, Samsung is about to launch the pop-up camera for the first time. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Welcome to the Tech Breakdown. Very first story is about the Realme and we have seen that Realme is actually a subsidiary brand of Oppo and they are making some really good smartphones in actually each and every price range. Realme is making flagship smartphones or really budget smartphones like Realme is making $100 smartphone which is actually good in comparison and Realme is also making $500, $600 smartphone which is having high-end specification. From last year, we have seen that Realme X2 Pro was one of the best smartphone of the 2019. But this year, I think Realme is hitting ahead also. Realme is about to launch some device. It is not named, which is, we don't have everything except the photo. We are, this photograph shows that we are having some glass back with really unique and really awesome futuristic design. And after the design, I can say that it is not going to be the budget smartphone because we know that it looks so good. Carbon fiber pattern, we are having that continuous thing which we have Oppo has done with the Oppo Reno series. So it is going to be so much premium device. I think it is 5G, 865. It is going to be maybe the successor of the Realme X2 Pro, which we haven't seen it yet. So it can be Realme X3 Pro or maybe they come up with a really good or not so good name. But yeah, we have to wait it for how long the Realme is about to launch a new device. So story number two is about the iPhone SE. And we all know that iPhone SE is surprisingly similar to the iPhone 8, almost identical. So there were so many questions about can we replace the parts of the iPhone SE with the iPhone 8 parts? So at some extent, that's correct. And at some extent, it is not. We can interchange the parts like iPhone SE iPhone 8's camera, iPhone 8's SIM tray, you can also the Taptic engine and the front side of it, including proximity sensors and that stuff, yeah, it can be done. But the question was, can we replace the battery? So it is that battery is identical, same battery, but the connectors are different from the logic board because they are using another logic board in the iPhone SE compared to the iPhone 8, so you cannot interchange the battery. And when it comes to display, you can actually technically change the display, but then you can lose the true tone functionality of the iPhone SE. So you cannot get that perfect color in every lighting condition. And according to your eye, you might look it is a downgrade, but technically it is possible with a little bit of some trade-offs. So the burning hot news of today is actually about the Samsung. Now we have seen Samsung has done so much tremendous amount of work in the display section. We have seen punch hole cameras from Samsung. We have seen rotating ca camera mechanism in Samsung A80 for all the bezel-less device. And so many people are trying, oh, each and every OEM is trying to make completely bezel-less smartphone. But in order to do that, they are doing different things. But Samsung was the one who used punch hole cameras and they also used symmetrical bezels and each and everything, but they actually never did the pop-up cameras. But this is the first time ever Samsung is trying to make a pop-up camera smartphone. Yep, because every smartphone manufacturer are running away from pop-up camera. Now Samsung wanted to get into it and we don't have any specification, any launch date. Even we don't have the name of the device, which is going to be mysterious device actually but we are having that it is not going to have high-end device because when you see at the fingerprint scanner it is not located under the display it is at the back that said is that it does not have the in-display fingerprint scanner which suppose it does not have the AMOLED display and Samsung I think is trying to do is they're trying to do a pop-up camera in a budget oriented devices like they have about their budget series like 830 they are selling it right now 830 830s so in that device they are trying to make a power camera maybe but in my opinion why even samsung bothering with the power camera right now it is every manufacturer has stopped it oneplus which was the best power camera people loved it they stopped in the oneplus 8 pro because pop mechanism are fragile and they are not perfect and Punch hole cameras are actually good. People don't mind it. So why on earth Samsung is trying to make pop-up cameras when everyone is actually running away from it? And in also a budget device, 
that actually doesn't make sense. Hope we have to wait it a little longer for the specification or the model name or everything, but we are not having anything yet, but we are having 360 video and fingerprint scanner at the back. That is not good. So that's it for me guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share this video to each and everyone because I'm not getting that enough subscriber as I want or views, 20, 30 views. So yeah, I need subscribers and views. Thank you for watching. My name is Abdullah Sheikh. I'll catch you guys in the very next video. Peace out.